All right. I'm going to record it and we'll post it to YouTube so folks who can't be here can keep up. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Um, really appreciate it. I know we kind of had a had a break with the uh, organizational stuff over over the holidays and uh, early into January, but we but uh, wanted to get right back into it. Um, and I'm going to share my screen right now. Um, let me know if you can see that. Yep. Awesome. Yes. Great. Um, so just to, just kind of uh, to get back into what some of the things we were talking about was the idea that it would be good to um, have either committees or um, assign responsibility or something along those lines um, to different areas. Um, it would be easier for a lot of people, we can split up the, the workload, um, but also we would be able to kind of, you know, focus on an area that, uh, you know, each of us can use our own skills to, to focus on uh, an area that we're particularly good at or have experience at or, or whatnot. Um, so I kind of wrote this up um, and, and uh, the, this set of committees and I emailed the group um, and I'm not sure if these are the right uh, set of responsibilities and committees um, and I'm wondering if uh, there may be things that I may have missed, there may be things that, that we should add or take out, um, so I'm just going to go through them and just get the feedback. Um, the, the, one of them is the session committee. Um, the idea of that would be the people to handle everything related to proposals and getting speakers and uh, organizing some of the events that are related to the uh, to the um, to the summit, the sessions. How do we actually get people there? A little bit. Um, well, not getting people there, but, but have sessions proposed. Um, I think that one makes sense. I mean, how, what do other people think? Do you think that's a reasonable choice for you know a, a responsibility or anything that's missing there? Oh. Uh for, for me, just I would like to say that right now we are four people here. Yes. And we have four four proposals for a committee. So <laughs> uh, and I know that, that the attendance wasn't much higher the last time. So mm -hmm. I, sometimes there were six people, seven maybe, yep. but not more. So I think I think splitting s so few people into into four four committees would mean that you will have two people in each committee and uh, you will probably even have problems uh, for for someone from the committee to, to attend uh, every meeting. So I, I'm not sure if, if the OpenWRT Summit is so big that we need several committees. Maybe we okay. could just, I would say, I, I know assign people specific uh, like but, leading roles in some in some areas yeah but separate committees is maybe too uh, too too much from my point of view I you know I, I think that's right I, when I when I said committees it was um, one of the ideas is we potentially could recruit other people from in the community to do it to, to participate but um, at the very least, it would be, a, you know, recruit roles among people that are on the, on the um, the summit committee itself. You know, to, to someone who focuses on, uh, you know, trying to recruit speakers, someone who focuses on sponsorship. What, you know? Oh, okay. So yeah, no, I I, I I agree with you. I mean, committees probably is too, too, uh, probably not the quite correct word in this case. Um, that was just the one I used at the time. So, Okay. No. But, uh, you, you are right that from my point of view these are the core, I would say, areas of responsibility mm -hmm. for the committee or my main, main focus focus areas. Yeah. So that, that mean, makes sense to, to I know, clarify for each of them what we would like to do there and so on. Um, if, you, if you think that we can 
maybe maybe ha maybe get more more people from from outside on board uh, in, in in this uh, committee. Then maybe it, it even could work if if we had I don't know twenty people participating. Then it would make sense to really split them to committees and. But I, I I'm not sure how 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 likely this is. Yeah. No, I, I think that I think that makes sense. The only other comment, and I don't know whether it's um, something to consider or not, but the looking briefly at all four of those there, I would take say location committee being sort of reasonably low effort uh, versus say marketing committee, which is like an awful lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not, we're not sort of assuming that they're weighted evenly. I think that's. Fine. I, I agree. It does capture the, the main areas. Yeah, the weighting is probably going to be a little more difficult. Um, so would we maybe? Um, is there a different way we can we can you know split these up? That makes sense. These uh, don't think of them as committees, but say you know responsibilities or something along those lines. Yeah, I think if you had. If you were just sort of taking a role of trying to keep it moving, but you had people who were able to do things like maintain the websites, and it was more a communication role, that's probably going to be roughly even across them. Uh, it's, uh, I guess, maybe it's worth going through them individually in terms of like exactly what that would involve uh, before okay. I sort of jump to conclusions. Okay. Well, I mean, the. Do you want to go uh, when you say go through them individually? I mean, I think you're. I think so, you're right. So, but. Yeah. So let's take. Well, let's say marketing committee is the okay. scariest one to me. <laughs> uh, so develop marketing program, um, maintain website, recruit members of relevant committees. So uh, how how was this done last time? It was all done by, by you, or it was it was primarily done by me. Yes. Okay. Um, and that meant what coding up websites, or when you say maintain website, what does that involve? Uh, we have the we have the OpenWRT Summit um, website, um, openwrtsummit.org. Uh, maintaining website would be just update things as you know when we have new sessions, put things on there. The other thing that we don't have on our current website. Excuse me. Is we don't have limit, or we don't have links, or um, and to the to the presentations from the year before. I just haven't had time to put them on there. So I think part of that is actually it, it could be as simple as just updating the website, or it could be something more broad as redesign the website entirely. I, I mean, part of that is mm -hmm. like that would be the. That'd be wonderful. I don't know if people have time to do that. If someone does, awesome. Um, so I think that that kind of varies a little bit mm -hmm. based upon skill and time. Maybe maybe uh, one one idea. When I look at these four four areas, so to say, I think that the session committee or the session 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 area and location area are things that we took care of the last time during these like uh, meetings and I think it worked well it, it's something it, it even has to be done in different times so I don't see the, there any any clash between finding a location and then uh, judging the sessions so I think this could be done the same way as we did last time Okay. But I think we didn't didn't touch much on on sponsorship and on marketing. This is something that we didn't. I I, I would I wouldn't say that we uh, took care of much of this last time. And I see here that we maybe maybe might be able to, or maybe what what we need when I look further to the operational stuff, maybe what we need are really two separate like bodies. Uh, one would be the planning committee, and one would be some kind of like operational uh, team or executive team that would take care of the of 
actually doing the stuff of uh, I don't know, updating the website and dealing with the stuff at the conference and so on. So people that which are uh, much more, I would say, like personally involved who are doing the, the stuff uh, with their hands. And on the opposite, the committee that is just, I would say, brains from the community who are discussing how to do it the best way and so on. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily wrong. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure. Uh, I, the big, the big thing that I think is going to be that we're going to have to that we're going to have this year is um, the sponsorship program um, because I know that Purple's budget is not as large f for OpenWRT Summit this year. Um, oh, it's okay. going to be significantly smaller. So. Uh, w to uh, continue with what we've done in the past, we're going to need some level of sponsorship. Um, the other thing is uh, the mar you, like you said, marketing. We haven't really uh, done. The other thing w with uh, sessions is that uh, we've never really um, we've recruited speakers, but it's kind of been you know here and there. It's not been like this um, all-out effort. Um, I don't think. And the other thing related to that is the hackathon. Is that we've had a lot of people say we want to have some a second event that's related to coding hackathon, whatever we want to call it, something along those lines. That is a um, that is a substantial amount of work to plan, organize, and and uh, so I I wonder if if separate into like a planning committee and operational committee if that is sufficient. Or are we going? Or is it going to be a situation where the planning committee is, where one of the committees is doing a lot more than the other? I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe uh, just to rephrase it, I, I think that last what we did last year was pretty much the I would say the, the planning planning stuff. Mm -hmm. We didn't do much of operational at all. I think the only one who did something in this uh, was you, <laughs> mm -hmm. Eric. Yep. Otherwise the committee just, just met and, and decided on something and yeah, then we, 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 we asked a few people to, to be speakers and we then selected the, which topics are more interesting than, than others. Mm -hmm. but, but we didn't do any of the operational stuff and I think this is maybe where we are missing people, where we should, where I think we should, we should get some more people so that you are not the only one who is working on this, and um, people who are more more active. For myself, I I can say that for me, uh, this one hour meeting every week or two weeks uh, is just I would say. Not all I can put into this, but I, I cannot do much more. I, I don't have much more time, and I, I'm afraid that uh, others on the committee have the same problem. Well, yes, my concern here is I was just trying to think about ways of dealing with this because it sounds like we've got a situation where the budget is lower. I, I, I don't know if you can give us any information on why that might be, Eric, but anyway, it is. Um, and I think what we're looking for here is to try and get uh, sh share the, the load a bit. I agree with the uh, statement just now that I don't have loads of time, and I imagine other people don't either, and it's hard enough to get people on involved in the committee as it is, that if you add a bunch of extra work on top of it, it might put people off. The only thing I can think is that if there is a benefit to the, to the company or the person doing it, in some way that might allow for the extra effort required if we need that from the various committee members. But, and so I'm just trying to think from our perspective as IMG, we're obviously trying to do our thing and if I can find a, a way to sort of uh, be able to spend the time on one of these committees that the company will sort of say, "Oh yes, that 
that's a big benefit to us too for whatever reason, then uh, we might be on to something. But other than that, it's it's it might be a bit a bit of an ask. All right. Um... Well, I mean, the the quick answer with uh, Paul on, on why OpenWG Summon has a smaller budget is, is purple is a smaller budget. It, it, we, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, we changed our membership structure, so we don't bring in as much revenue, um, mm -hmm. even though we have more members. Uh, so because of that, we have a much smaller budget to, to mm -hmm. spend. And on the sponsorship committee, I mean that that has got we've got to start thinking about what is it that benefits the sponsor, right? As well. Mm -hmm. So generally, I think we need to be thinking much more in that way if if it's not all purple funded um, and actual man hours have to go into uh, into it from the the committee members. I'm I'm afraid that everybody will just not not get involved. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that is that is the the fear, um, and the, I mean this is going to be pretty tough to do if it's if it's me doing it when in between my yeah. other responsibilities. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you say like, what's the value to participate to the company, how do what do you, how do you see that as being? Well, I, you know, at the end of the day. It's not that we don't value Purple's work. I don't think that's the question, but obviously Purple's work um, is continuing. Uh, if, if let, let's say, just taking a really obvious example, obviously we're trying to increase the awareness of our creator program, and I worry that it could turn the, the Purple OpenWRT Summit into a kind of a, <laughs> an advertising forum, but uh, is there something we can do that would help us in that goal whilst doing these things? I, I'm not sure if I've got answers for that at the moment, but I'm just trying to think about it. Because it would be much easier for me to go to the boss and say that I need to spend a day a week, whatever it is, a day a month, yeah. doing this stuff. If If it means, okay, we get a I don't know, uh, uh, something to help us with what we're doing. Well, one way we could do that is we could highlight n not just the the participants, but their companies. Um, mm -hmm. I, and I'm not sure what is the, I mean, that's almost like, like a sp sponsorship in kind. Kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I'm not, and I'm not sure on the on the exact you know what we need to say is to get you know whatever it is an hour a month or an hour a week or whatever you know whatever the number is you get X like what that number should be mm -hmm. um, and what you should get in return but I, that I I think that's something that we can certainly do I I'm not sure what we need to what we need to offer. It may be that, say, I, I, I'm just brainstorming here. Um, if we did co-locate again, I know we said that wasn't great last time. I can't remember where we got to. Um, but if it's co-located that, for example, an event that we're interested in um, as, a, as a department mm -hmm. that we're going to go to anyway, obviously that, that being funded or something, and again, it goes back to what's the budget. And <laughs> maybe we can't fit that in. But you know, even as simple as, Let's get you out to where we're where we're doing the purple summit with this other event, and and that's your sort of reward for helping us putting all the time in to help you know maintain the website and develop a marketing plan and stuff like mm -hmm. this. I don't know, just throwing ideas out at the moment. Yeah. Anybody else can yeah. I comment on on that? So. For my opinion, uh, Eric, correct me if I'm wrong. The main problem is we have it. Eric, have it. Um, purple has less funding, so for this, there's less money to spend on this um, summit, and so also, you're you probably invested lots of time for the last um, <coughs> summit. I assume so mm -hmm. by what you all did, um, but you cannot invest so much time into the next summit anymore. Um, is it correct? Uh, I, I mean, I can invest. I think my participation is not an issue. That that side of the funding is not an issue. It's more, um, 
we want to, people have said very clearly, we, they want to do more with OpenWRT Summit in the future. We, we want to have more tracks and we, or we want to have multiple days. Um, so if I, I probably feasibly cannot add, do that on all, all on my own. And on top of it, we have the issue that we're not going to be able to fund a lot of the actual event cost, which is fairly significant. Um, we can, you know, adjust things in the future on, you know, whether we have a very small fee or we provide less funding for travel or whatever, but at some point you still have a fairly significant cost that needs to be made up somewhere. So to me, those yes. are like the two main drivers of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, for the, uh, when we have less money, probably we can um, work with the battle mesh guys, at least they are working on a really tight um, funding, so probably much less than what Purple is able to pay for the, the summit. <coughs> Um, that you somehow collaborate with them or that's an, that, yeah we it's, could. it's probably cheaper than collaborating with the Linux Foundation yeah that <laughs> the the co-located fee for the Linux Foundation is pretty high um, so um, so yeah do we have any information on what the budget was last time and what we're gonna have this time uh, I mean, what did we actually spend versus what, what we're now gonna have we actually spent, if I remember correctly, it was between forty and fifty thousand um, dollars, approximately. Um, what we have is not very much. I don't know if we have an exact number, but it's a, it's a lot less, less. than half. Less, less than, than half, half. Or? certainly yeah. less than half. Yes. So, um, so I, I mean. The bulk of this will, if, if uh, unless we, if, if we were to have the same budget or we spent the same amount, it, most of it would have to come from not from purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe maybe just um, to 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 get back to the original uh, original topic mm -hmm. of of committees. I think that um, we, we, we just like agreed that not we don't have much time. Mm -hmm. At least it doesn't seem that nobody from us has, has a lot of time to put into this. And for instance, as you mentioned, the hackathon is really something you have to you have to I would say live, live for for at least a few weeks before mm -hmm. uh, it takes place, and you really have to put a lot of time and effort into this. So I think maybe uh, right now what we need to do is specify what what kind of like say jobs there are for the for the summit, which is in some way you already did this with these committees, but maybe we could we could like organize it a little bit different maybe put the operational there as well and so on and then uh, try to recruit uh, recruit people for for specific specific uh, like areas so everybody who is on the committee already should say, could say okay I, I, I can I can help you with with marketing and finding sponsors but I, I don't want to be involved in I know finding a location or something and then try to find a few really active people for each of the of the topics, so that we do, we are not missing some important thing like uh, I don't know recruiting sponsors. If if we have everything is great and planned, but we don't have any sponsors and no money, then it uh, wouldn't work. So uh, maybe we could try to get more people on board and really focus on specific topics, to, so that we don't have only only ten people. And everybody is interested in just uh, overseeing the selection of topics, mm -hmm. but really having people with different like skills and and focus. That, I mean, I Sorry. go ahead, Paul. Sorry, just as an example, the hackathon thing. I mean, it depends what we want to focus on, but we do a lot of those uh, 
because we were interested in people playing with our you know, 40 and the board and the, our framework and you, we could certainly, we, we have lots of experience in doing them and we're always keen to create new ones and that may be a a, a, a collaboration if you like where nobody ne necessarily has to spend any more than they were going to, it helps us uh, get more people working with what we're doing. Uh, at the same time it gives the hackathon a setup. Uh, so yeah, there's collaborations like that I think are really important, aren't they? So I agree yeah. with. Sounds great. Oh, definitely. I, I think that's I think that's a great idea. No, I, I like that. Um, <clears throat> so, I guess uh, how do we moving this forward? Um, I mean, Beta, I, I'm. I'm really open to trying to recruit more people to the, to to be involved in this, and I I think that's that's something we should try to do. I, I have not had more much success, but I mean, if you feel that you can recruit more people, or you know people, or have some ideas, I mean, we can we can try that some more. I mean, I think the more people we have, the better this is going to be, certainly. Okay. So, well, I think we could start by by slightly, I would say, rephrasing these these committees into into a list of let's say topics or mm -hmm. areas of uh, focus, and send it to the mailing list. And see, we are looking for people who would be able or willing, no, able and willing to uh, to participate in in these on these topics. Uh, and then maybe even, and we will see what happens on the mailing list. It's not a very, uh, very lively discussion there, but maybe maybe people will step step up. Uh, I I think that I can uh, find some people internally in our company for mm -hmm. for specific stuff. We have uh, two relatively new guys there now, who really are into organizing uh, stuff and and. So, so I, I think that they could they could help, and they would probably have more time than I had. So, I would do some something on the on the side, and to find someone on the side. Please do that. I, yeah. I I definitely agree with that idea. I think looking at this this set of committees, each um, point afterwards, you know, comma comma delimited points. Mm -hmm. There are a few in across the committees that I think we could probably help with, um, but I don't think a a whole committee would be quite a quite a lot to chew into, and maybe there are other people who might be interested in in some of the others, and we'll see what we can cover and what we can't. All right, I think that's a good idea. I like that. Okay. Hauke, um, okay. any thoughts? Yes, it could work. Mm. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay, I think that's a, I think that that is a is a good idea. Um, do we want to schedule a follow up call? Because I want to I want to. I mean, now that we're kind of back in the swing of things, I, I'd like to keep this momentum going. Um, yeah. Yes, so, what's that? So would the follow up call be about you know is this the right list to send or is it this is what we got back from uh, what would I'm obviously happy to have a follow-up call. It's just a case of yeah. understanding what we want from it. I think it would. I think it would be. I, I would say that I, I'll send out the the list of kind of responsibilities, and then people can. We'll see what we get back, and then we'll evaluate. You know, in a follow-up call, how what's missing? How do we actually find people, or will mm -hmm. someone volunteer? Okay, sounds sounds good. So. Yep. Maybe a follow-up call in uh, two or three weeks. What What do people think? Uh, yeah, I, I I can do I can do both uh, Wednesdays at the same time work very well for me. Otherwise, it's hard to find time in the afternoon mm -hmm. here. But uh, Wednesday is okay. So I can do both twenty uh, second and and first of March. Yes, sir. Okay. What do you? How okay is the two or two or three weeks? Do you have any 
opinion? Two weeks? Uh, yes, that should work for me. So, how about so how about we do nothing? Yeah, how about we do two weeks, just to keep the momentum going, and we'll meet at the same time. Um, and I'll certainly email a list, and then I'll I'll email the list of responsibilities, and I'll we'll ask people to uh, to volunteer or find people at their organization or people you know who are interested to volunteer if you know uh, to take over some to take a, some of the responsibilities basically okay we could we um, could do it <clears throat> what about uh, puppet involvement so there will probably be one of the main sponsors so so should this still be named purple summit or something else WRT or so Ooh, I, I mean or is purple what are the, is purple's opinion on this oh, I think we want it called open WRT summit like we always have we don't okay okay yeah I don't okay well, well I'm sure if we have a list of sponsors we would be in there but other than that yes, yes if it's that's fine okay 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 is it is it worth thinking about whether it's worth calling it I don't know it, it, how much are we considering OpenWT slash Leddy lead and is it worth changing it to something a bit more generic that's sort of Linux gateway um, or is there some reason uh, no there's there's no reason um, it would I think the the hope that ever, that I wouldn't say everyone, but I mean the hope that I think most of us at Purple have is that op the OpenWRT lead fork will be cleared up um, in the near future. Uh, but that is obviously on the community side, so not something we have much say over, and that's fine. Um, I, I I don't know. I mean, what what is what do Beta and and how can I can understand it's a little sensitive for you, but if you have any thoughts, you can share. From my point of view, I, I would like the naming to be as um, neutral as possible. So mm -hmm. I, I would like wouldn't like to see any company names in the in the name of the of the summit and. If if there is still some I would say strife in the community, um, then then try to find a, a way of naming it something completely different than uh, than uh, antagonizing one of the groups. No, that was my concern. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Hauke, okay, do you have anything you can you feel comfortable sharing or? Uh, I don't know if this merge will happen till I don't know when this uh, summit will be, but um, I probably agree. So it's, um, <clears throat> that we shouldn't have a specific company or organization name in it, um, and yeah, it should be neutral so that at least both are okay. welcome. So also in the name. <coughs> okay. That that's fine with me. I mean, I I think I I also viewed the summit as about in the fall. So, um, whether the merge happens ahead of that, I don't know, or whether it happens at all. I guess that that's up to the up to the community. Okay. I mean, we can that that would be something we can discuss on the list. I mean, uh, ideas for how we want to name it. Um, I would be worried about the Linux gateway that might be software or something along those lines that might be too too broad because then you know you include things like RDK which I mean maybe people want to talk about RDK I don't know but that's a little different focus than what we've done in the past. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that should be what it is. <laughs> I think it no, was just I, a... you know, but definitely. <clears throat> All right. Um, so as to do's, um, I will send out a list of the um, uh, the responsibilities. Uh, does anyone else want to send out the the start the the topic on naming? 
I mean, otherwise I can do it, but... I think, from my point of view, it's still still early days, and mm -hmm. we might we might be forced to change it uh, anyway if, if there is some decision about about the getting together mm -hmm. fleet and open WRT. So they might decide to call them say sell something completely different, and we will change it anyway. So I think we can wait. The name okay. is not so important. Okay. If there there is something we are continuing from the from the past, so people will understand what it means, mm -hmm. uh, and the name is not so important. Makes sense. All right. Then I will send out the list of the of the kind of responsibilities that people can participate in and volunteer for, um, and then we will uh, meet again in two weeks to kind of get the feedback um, on what people are. Uh, what we've gotten, what we volunteered, um, and then we'll see what we what what's missing, and and certainly please everybody uh, volunteer on that thread to kind of uh, energize the people who aren't here to also volunteer if possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. uh, thank you very much, everyone, um, and uh, we will uh, meet again in two weeks. Okay. Have thank a good you. day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.